it's September, and you know what that means. <music> Nintendo Direct Rumors But this one, I understand how these rumors got started. Usually rumors start either because something got leaked, or someone is just using context clues. But this year, man, I understand how these rumors got started. But we're gonna get into that in a minute. In this video, we're gonna be talking about rumors and basically predictions like everyone else is doing. But before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified whenever I upload. And let's hurry up and get into the video. First, let's start with the rumors. In the beginning, I stated many times on how this year's September Nintendo Direct rumors started. And it all started just because someone looked up the Nintendo Direct website. As you all should know, Nintendo has its own website for Nintendo Directs. And when somebody looked up the Nintendo Direct website not too long ago, the Google description said, in four days. And this drove Twitter crazy. Oh, somebody, oh, he needs oh. some milk. And when I tell you this all happened so randomly and fast, I woke up at five o'clock in the morning. Yes, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning for school. Just to Twitter notifications from Nintendo Direct rumors this, Nintendo Direct rumors that. And mind you, it's five o'clock in the morning. So I'm still half asleep. But anyways, that's how the rumors started about this 2022 September Nintendo Direct. It's funny how one simple Google search can lead to a bunch of different rumors. And the rumors are still going on right now as I'm speaking. And this will go on until Nintendo announces the September Nintendo Direct. If there is one, considering there has been one in September for a long time. Now let's get into the part which probably half of you came for, predictions. Oh, here we go. The last Nintendo Direct in September last year had so many huge announcements that I made a whole video of it. That Direct had Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Animal Crossing DLC announcement, Expansion Pack and N64, and Sega Genesis game announcement, Bayonetta 3, and the one and only cast announcement for the Mario movie. And there was even more than that. No doubt that was a pretty good Direct. And let's hope this year's, if there is one, is the same way. Maybe even better. And we're gonna start with some games that I think deserve some updates, like Nintendo Switch Sports. The game already has some updates with the wrist trap compatibility added to the soccer game, but they can literally add all the other sports from Wii Sports and also Wii Sports Resort. Like, where is baseball? Boxing? Where is wakeboarding? Archery? Basketball? Like, come on Nintendo, we know you got it. This is the time to announce it. You can even announce it while you're telling us about the new golf update. I mean, it's the perfect plan. Anyways, as I was saying, I think there's going to be something about Nintendo Switch Sports in there, whether it's what I want or golf. And don't get me wrong, I like golf, you know, it's just, it should have been in the game from the start. Another game I'm thinking about is Mario Party Superstars. I mean, come on Nintendo, it's been almost a year since that game came out and it hasn't been one, not one major update or DLC added to the game. That game has so much potential and still has so much potential. And just because the game is almost a year old doesn't mean you can stop updating things and adding things to it. I mean, look at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That game has been out for five years and you recently just added the Booster Course Pass DLC. If you don't want to make Mario Kart 9, just say that. And you know what? Nintendo, you updated Super Mario Party, which released four years ago. You updated it to have more online support last year. So Nintendo, we know you can update old games. So if you want fans to like this direct, Give them Mario Party Superstars DLC. I'm not gonna say what I want for DLC because I already made a full video on that back in February. Go watch that if you want. Another game they can talk about is Mario Strikers Battle League. The last update was back in July, which I had Daisy and Shy Guy and even a new stage. But if they do end up saying something about it, I'm gonna predict that it's something about new characters, new stages, or even more content because we all know people have been complaining about the game not having enough online content. Nintendo, Put some more content on there so your fans, including me, can enjoy the game even more than we do. And when I say we, I mean me, because I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that actually enjoyed Mario Strikers the way that it was before it released. And also maybe something from Kirby's Dream Buffet. I know the game literally just released not too long ago, but still. And of course, we're probably going to see something from the N64 collection and maybe even a new collection like a GameCube collection. But you know what? It would be really messed up if they did that literally right after I just bought a GameCube. <laughs> <sighs> I probably just wasted my money. If not, then it's probably going to be something about Nintendo Switch Online in it. And now, let's get into what will probably be in the direct, something about the Mario movie. Whether it's a teaser trailer or an actual trailer, there is probably going to be something about the Mario movie. We cannot escape the Mario movie. And quite honestly, I'm scared. 
Last time we heard about the Mario movie was in last year, Nintendo Direct, in September, when they announced the crazy and funny cast. Here's a little recap. Chris Pratt is playing Mario, Charlie Day is Luigi, Anaya Taylor-Joy is Peach, Jack Black is Bowser, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, just to name a few. Probably one of the craziest and funniest moments in Nintendo Direct history. And in this one, we we'll probably get a trailer and a poster. And I don't think I'm mentally prepared for that. <laughs> And not only will we see a trailer and a poster, but we get to hear how Chris Pratt sounds as Mario, and I'm not mentally prepared for that either, especially when he gave us a sneak peek at it. It's a me, a Mario. Now let's talk about when the direct is probably gonna happen. People seem to think that it's gonna happen on the week of the 12th, but I don't think that's gonna happen, mainly because one, I think it's too soon, considering Splatoon 3 will release on September 9th, which is, what, what day is it today? Oh, that's today. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. If a Nintendo Direct happens this month, it's probably going to be the week of the 19th or so late as the week of the 26th. But it's probably going to be a better chance it's on the week of the 19th because it's been two weeks after Splatoon 3 released. And I guess Nintendo would want time after one of the Switch's biggest releases this year. But there is a chance of it being on the week of the 12th because if you remember the Nintendo Direct on February 17th, 2021, that Direct aired a week after Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury came out. So yeah, there could be a chance of that. But personally, I think it's going to be on the week of the 19th if it is announced. If it is announced on like the 13th or the 14th, then I will be kind of surprised. Nintendo is very known for posting your direct in September, and that is the only reason why I made this video. I don't usually do prediction videos or any type of video, but since it's September, I think that is actually going to happen. If it was any other month, I probably wouldn't have made this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want to see more like this, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload. And also make sure to check out my socials. All links will be in the description and I will see you in the next one. Peace.